So next we tackle uh, Windows Presentation Foundation. Before we do that, let's clean up our workspace a bit. So I can go here and I will add a new solution folder, call it WinForms. And then I'll just copy the WinForm related projects into it. The reference library I'm gonna live, leave alone uh, because it's gonna be used by multiple technologies. Let's close all tabs. And then we can cr now create a WPF. And within there, I'll now add our WPF projects. Windows Presentation Foundation, commonly referred to as WPF, like WinForms, offers stability and interoperability with .NET as a whole. It's designed to run on .NET as a first-class citizen, so class libraries you've written in the past or employ can easily be leveraged. Sadly, like WinForms, you can't deploy to Xbox at this time, but you can deploy to the store. If you want the kind of stability that WinForms gives you, but also want access to modern capabilities like media elements, animation, XAML-based UI description, then this is a great tool to have till this day. So the designer for WPF supports drag and drop just like WinForms. So you can just drag an element onto the screen, can resize, but it's got a whole bunch of sophisticated things that you can do. I believe Visual Studio itself is built using WPF. So as long as you haven't heard any news about Visual Studio getting rebuilt using some other technology, you know you're basically safe with this. So in terms of using .NET 8, yes, we can add a reference library. And we can even add a reference library to the WinForms sample itself. The big difference between this and WinForms is that WPF is the beginning of this whole notion of XAML, which is extensible application markup language that drives many of Microsoft's UI technologies. So once I said as a startup project, I can run that. And here is our equivalent WPF application using the same library that the WinForms application is using from .NET. And as a matter of fact,
we've added a class now to WinForms, and I can go to my WPF application, and I'm just gonna add another button after I create a stack panel. some of these right here. So you can do this. So you can actually call into your WinForms application directly. continues to work and say hello calls into that and even cooler than that I can actually call WinForms and start an actual WinForm window directly from there and here's my normal WinForm window. So very, very interoperable between WPF, which is Windows Presentation Foundation and WinForms. Deploying to the store for Windows Presentation Foundations consequently would be essentially the same as deploying to the store using your regular WinForms application you would need an app package project. And again, you're presented with your choice in terms of like, target version of the operating system and the SDK that's being targeted. And again, you essentially reference your application. And there it is. And essentially, you can now run that application, the packaged application. And it, of course, will work the same way. Here's count. And here's say hello. It says hi there. And we now have the WinForms application, which also has count. Interestingly enough, notice that because I'm using a static variable, that number is incrementing between the both of them. And what does deploying to the Windows Store look like? Well, it's essentially the same. Go here, publish, 
can create an app package and you essentially follow the same process. Give it a certificate and publish it out there or publish it to the Windows Store if you so desire. Publishing to the Xbox also follows the same format. You point it, target a remote machine, and then in here you can put in the IP address of the remote server. In this case it would be the, and in here you can put in the IP address of your Xbox. And deploy it and you get the same result it deploys to the actual Xbox but you're not able to activate it and if you were to look in the Xbox you'd essentially see the same thing you'd see the application loaded there um, but it will not work um, because WPF is not designed to work on the Xbox by default. Stay tuned to this channel for future updates. We'll be giving away two, you heard it, two Surface laptops when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please like, share, subscribe to help us get to that point. Happy coding and have a blessed day.